Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We are here today to bring you the 10-year bear market history that started in 2000 and basically started right over here and we're in the 10 year anniversary coming up and basically just like we did on the NASDAQ comp go find that videotape and the Dow is that we're going to talk about expansions and failures once again now every time that we uh, 1996 we had a great up leg I was trading the market been trading the market for 30 years great times to be traders to the upside great times to be traders to the downside and the biggest bubble ever was from 2003 to 7. There's no other bigger bubble. And look at the collapse. We're all the way back here to 1996 levels. That's what happens with failed policy, failed government, kind of like what you're living in right now. And I bet you're quite tired of it too. And I bet you're quite tired of Wall Street getting wealthy and you being left behind. Well, welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. You can have that wealth too, and you deserve it. That's why I'm doing the tape. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing this for you. And I'm doing it so that either one of two things is that you can be proactive, take accountability and responsibility, join our StockMarketFunding.com network. We have a 52-week pro trading school. We've got risk management school. We've got all kinds of various different things that will help you. We have an economic school. We have a stock fundamental school. We have, of course, our trading school. We have our all kinds of things that make the world go round. We have addressed it right here for you. So let's go into the, the history, and we're going to do a couple of parts on this. When we have these great expansions, uh, the 96 uh, expansion and the stimuluses that we're working uh, here all failed miserably and they came right here they came all the way back down I'm just going to show you why they fell today's government's going to fail worse there is a catastrophic third leg down move leg one leg two expansion stimulant expansion buying our way out of the mess that America loves to put themselves in and every time they do these things they fail and guess what? From 1997 to uh, look at, we came all the way back down here. So all the manipulation here failed, and all the manipulation here failed. And basically, this is going to be that's leg one. That's the second expansion. This is your third expansion. But we're going to talk about the S and P 10-year bear market history. That off of that 96 expansion. That's where your bear started, and your bear went back into play. We've had two major catastrophic events, the tech bubble, housing bubble, and the financial system bubble. And that's where uh, StockMarketFunding.com, Mario Marciano, 30-year veteran, called a six-year topping pattern in the uh, financials, which I did. I also called a 75-year topping pattern in the New York Stock Exchange, meaning that the NYSE and the history of the NYSE has been around longer than all of these other indexes. And that's where most of your program trading and a lot of your wealth investing goes on. I'm not saying that markets aren't doom and gloom. I'm saying economic policies and manipulation, they fail and that's why we end up here. At the time that these exuberant moves are in play, you trade them and you invest to the high side. Problem is, once all the money's up here, guess what? They're all in. <coughs> and I know every gimmick there ever was played. I have lived my life and breathed and lived my life to be able to decipher the failure of gimmicks and we are in another big gimmick that happened in this yearly move right here on the S&P and just like off the 1929 crash and into the 30s we've had similar moves this economic picture today you can fill your wallet you know where you're at living in the world however you don't have to have experience at all 
you just come to stockmarketfunding.com. We help guide you in and guide you out. And we teach you everything you need to know. I'm telling you that right now, I'm not going into all the technical indicators with you here. We will do other series that you can be involved in that will explain it a lot more. So don't be concrete or rigid thinking other than what you're being pointed out today or America is that they fail in what they do. This time, they siphoned America out of their home equity. There are probably much, not probably, less people that own homes today than any period within this cycle. And it's very unfortunate that the American public get up, try to go to work, do the best they can, but they get caught in these exuberances, irrational exuberance. And irrational exuberance and buying your way out of economic disaster and buying your way out of recessions does not have any meaningful sustainability because if they did, we would have never been back over here. We had a double bear top market. Failed miserably. Failed miserably. That expansion was putting all the stimuluses off the last recession, off of the 2000. We hit the bottom of 2002. They came in. They pumped it. They got Greenspan, got money rates down overnight at the lowest level since the 1940s. Uh, Bernanke's got interest rates lower than what Greenspan had over here. And now we're creating another repeat of another bubble. The good news is you can take advantage of it here. You can. And we are going to fail again when we get done with this move off of March of 2009. And it's an election year. The stakes are higher than any other time. Democrats want to get elected. Republicans have got their view. Guess what, people? We're going to see more manipulation probably than any other time in history. We've got the health care summit coming. We've got all of that. We've got the biggest deficit ever ever and it's climbing higher and higher and guess what the US government's gonna have to pay interest on that deficit that means that somewhere taxes have to go higher the Bush tax rates come off in 2011 ha ha so what are they gonna try to do well get you to spend your money now get you to fuel into the exuberance I'm gonna go into part two and I'll be right back follow up in part two